Good morning, DP. I'm Olivia Deveni. And I'm Skylar Covert. We hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Today on DP News, PSAT and ACT Aspire dates have been changed, club meetings, photo packets, and college visits. DP News starts now. <laughs> Friday at 2 p.m., Northwestern University will be visiting Dos Pueblos. See Mrs. Cruz in the Career Center for more information on college visits. If you like to play fun games and activities during lunch, then join Improv Club that meets every Tuesday during lunch in the theater. That is today at lunch. The PSAT and AC Aspire date has shifted from Wednesday, October 14th to Wednesday, October 28th. On the 28th, all 11th grade students will be taking the PSAT and all 10th grade students will be taking the ACT Aspire. During the same day from 8.55 until lunch, all 12th graders will be doing senior activities. Woo! And all 9th graders will be attending assemblies, registering for Naviance, and attending presentations with their counselors. It's not too late to be put on the yearbook sibling spread. Email yearbook16 at dpnews.org. National Honor Society and California Scholarship Federation forms for last spring's grades are being distributed today in your English classes. Forms will be distributed to qualified students who were enrolled at DP last spring semester. Please follow the instructions on the form. The deadline for membership is Wednesday, October 14th at 3.30 p.m. That's Wednesday, October 14th at 3.30 p.m. If you have questions, please contact Mrs. Stone in the counseling office. Olivia and Scholars signing out. Now we're to Sky with the weather. Hey DP, it's Sky, and it's going to be another hot day today at 76 degrees with 66% humidity. The winds are going to be around 10 to 20 miles per hour, and the surf is going to be around 1 to 2 feet. So what did the sunshine say to the fog? You won't be missed. Now over to Nico and Ashley with the sports. What's up, Chargers? I'm Ashley. And I'm Nico. Here are your sports report. Last Friday, football defeated the Carpinteria Warriors 53-28. to Senior Manny Nuasu made five touchdowns, four catches, and ran a total of 340 yards. Junior Kellen Roberts made three touchdowns with a total of 237 yards. They are now 2-4 and four overall. There is a new Frisbee golf group forming on our campus. Here is Jeffrey with more. Hello, DP. I am Jeffrey Chow reporting with the Frolf Academy. Tommy McGregor, Dylan Van Megan, Josh McGregor, Corner Dickens. Could you tell us a little about what the Froth Academy is? The Froth Academy is basically a little bit of traditional golf with a little bit of disc and a whole lot of basket. What days do your club typically meet? The club meets on Fridays in the library at lunch. Where do you guys usually play? at the Evergreen Open Space over by Brandon Elementary. Alrighty, DP, you heard it here. I'm here with the Froth Academy, and thank you, and back to the studio. Hey, girls golf and girls tennis plays the Ventura Cougars. Girls volleyball plays against the Buena Bulldogs. Boys water polo travels to Santa Barbara. Tomorrow, cross country has their second league meet at Arroyo Verde Park in Ventura. Thursday, boys water polo plays against the Buena Bulldogs. Girls tennis plays at Santa Barbara High School. Girls volleyball hosts the Santa Barbara Dons in our gym at 6. That's all for your sports report. Let's hit it on over to Nandini. Hey DP, I'm Nandini Briganza, your current events reporter. Record rainfall lashed South Carolina on Sunday, resulting in what the National Weather Service called potentially historic and life-threatening flooding. Parts of South Carolina experienced more than 20 inches from of rain from Wednesday to Sunday. South Carolina authorities pleaded with residents to stay where they were as they rescued dozens of people trying to cross flooded roads and evacuated people to high ground. See you tomorrow, DP. Aw, oh, yeah. Hey, yo, Tyler, drop me a beat that a mother would love. Aw, uh, yeah. 
My name is Jeffrey Chow, and watch me break it down as I do right now. I'm straight from the beef nor broccoli. I'm straight to the Kung Pao. Yeah. I like jam on my toast. Strawberry is okay, but I like jelly the most. Hey, you want to know a fun fact? I carry cheese puffs in my backpack just in case I decide I need a little snack. All right. Before I go, I just got to call out someone. Hey, yo, Mr. Dallas Flannery, I'm calling you out. Please don't take this as flattery. But... Hey, here's a video of you, hey, with a, someone else's track, and I'm coming straight to you, like Drake in Back to Back. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some people outside of school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared, said, you move with your auntie and Uncle Bel Air. I was for a cab and when it came near The lights place it fresh and had a dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say this cab was rare, but I thought, nah, forget it, your home's Bel Air. Mario Luis Cruzberger Blumenfield, también conocido como Don Francisco, es un conductor de televisión y de religión judía. Don Francisco empezó su programa de televisión conocido como Sábado Gigante en 1962. En 1986, su programa empezó a ser programado en Miami, Florida por Univision. El programa de Don Francisco ha existido por más tiempo que cualquier otro programa. Bruce Berger también ha recibido muchos premios y una estrella en Hollywood. <música>